I promise you, I am not a tower of fantasy industry plant, but when I tell you that A3 Ulan is actually the truth, you can believe it. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower of Fantasy. My name is Vinicius Game. What's good with you? I finally awakened A3 Ulan, and she is actually the truth. She's so good. So if you don't know what A3 Ulan does, I'll just read it for you really quick. It's so good, but I've been using it all day. All right, so it says, activate it in the martial artist form. If internal strength is not obtained within five seconds, the next acquisition of internal strength will grant two counts in any form when unity consumes three or more internal strength or fighting spirit restore 10 percent of the wanderers max hp in solo play the hp recovery is increased to 20 percent this effect can only trigger one time every eight seconds in sweeping force form in martial arts form there are no limitations so it's ridiculous the healing that you get back with yulon makes solo play so very good like i was just fighting robark right now and brother i can tell you the, the absolute truth the difference between fighting robark solo without a3 yulon is the difference between night and day like i tried to do it once before with just with dps weapons so right now i'm using icarus lingon and yulon and i really couldn't do it like i was getting killed i had to use like a support weapon to heal but now i did it no healing weapon was needed at all i went through a joint operation and i had to use a support weapon that joint operation which you're going to see that gameplay at towards the end of this video after i show you the build and everything that i'm using but brother it was so easy to do that joint operation solo with A3 Yulon because of the healing. Now, I didn't even really use the healing weapon that much. I could probably do it without the healing if I, like, played a little bit smart. But I was playing a little bit reckless at that, that game point. You're going to see it. But anyways, I'm going to show you the build that I'm running right now with this Yulon on A3. All right, so the build you see, I've got Coco Ritter. My Coco Ritter is A2 with, I uh, mean, is one, level 120. I'm sorry. My Coco Ritter is level 120 with no advancements. I've got A1 on my Ling Han, and then, of course, I've got the A3 Yulon. This is literally one of the best investments that I have ever made in Tower Fantasy. And it, honestly, I was a Volt main, but this might make me turn into, like, a Frost main in this game. All right, so let's just check out the uh matrices that i'm using okay so the matrices here i actually went and got the two piece of ling han two piece ling han says increase all elemental damage by seven percent when firing frost blades deal additional damage equal to 460 percent of attack to nearby targets this set effect works in the offhand slot and only the set with the highest star rating will take effect and then of course i've got my two piece crow increase crit damage to targets with less than 60 hp by 24 percent and then over on my yulon we're gonna go with a straight four piece Shiro set. I know down in the comments if you think you know a better two piece set or a better like a matrix set to run on Yulon, I'd definitely love to hear it. Like a two piece Shiro, two piece Samir, I think that's sort of like the going thing. All right, so I've got uh, the two piece set for Shiro says increase both damage and shatter to targets with more than 50% HP by 19% for me. And the four piece says upon entering battle, gain a 20% damage boost for 35 seconds, reset five seconds after exiting battle. And then then overall my Coco Ritter I like to play it safe uh, I have a two piece zero and this is something new I got a two piece Lyra so the two piece Lyra says use this weapon to increase all attack types by 13% the lower the HP the higher the healing received which can be increased by up to 100% and then on a zero it says upon using a discharge switch to the current weapon gain a shield equal to 150% of attack for six seconds the relics that I use right now, these are my favorite relics. I have my Kuan Shield and then the Alternate Destiny. If you don't know anything about this Alternate Destiny, listen, you need to be using Alternate Destiny. And every time you get an ability or a chance to increase your Alternate Destiny's advancement, do it because Alternate Destiny is so, so good. It says you generate a pocket dimension for eight seconds. Allied Wanderers gain immunity to hit stun effects in the dimension. HP will not drop below 20% from enemy attacks. Cool down 90 seconds. Leaving the dimension removes all buffs. Once you have spent eight seconds in the dimension, you cannot be buffed by it for 45 seconds. Uh, the first advancement, Allied Wanderers in the dimension recovers 15% HP eight seconds later. And then the second advancement, Allied Units in the dimension gain 25% lifesteal. That's lifesteal. So whatever you are using Ling Han while you're in the alternate destiny, brother, you're getting healed back. You use her skill, you're getting healed back. You use her discharge, you're getting a full life bar back in most cases. And then my Kuan shield, I have that one all the way maxed out. It's just basically, it protects you and reflects damage back. I'm not reading all of that. 
for my awakening, I'm using Ling Han's awakening. If you have Ling Han, you haven't awakened her yet, you are sleeping. Get her awakening. It's so good. The first awakening, Overwatching Blade, it says, increase final damage by 13% when Alabaster Tiger is equipped. For every one frost weapon equipped, increase frost damage by 1%. So that's actually not too good, but it's that second awakening, the Governing Blade. This is so good. Watch this. Increase final damage by 18%, which is huge. When Alabaster Tiger is equipped, gain damage immunity for four seconds when using Sword Art Icy Beckon. For every one frost weapon equipped, increase frost damage by 2.5%. When three frost weapons are equipped, gain an additional 350 weapon charge after the Wanderer uses any frost weapon skill. After using any frost weapon skill at discharge other than Alabaster Tigers, deal additional damage equal to 1,456% of attack to nearby targets. That is amazing. All right. My first time doing this solo joint operation. I'm gonna try to fight this puppet singer thing. All right, so this guy is actually pretty annoying. So let me pop my shield right here and use a Yulon discharge so I can get that Ling Han discharge off. And then Ling Han discharge is gonna boost my damage a little bit. All right, cool. So I'm gonna save my alternate destiny and use it for when I really need it. All right, here we go, Yulon discharge. It's gonna do crazy amounts of damage by Yulon and Sweeping Force form. Tiger has come down. All right, so Coco Ritter, let's throw the heals out there. And then I'll use a Coco Ritter skill so I can get some discharge. And then we'll use the Yulon skill so I can get some discharge and see how much damage that does. That's crazy. Okay, Ling Han discharge now. Oh, he's got his shields up, does he? He's scared? I'll put a shield up too. We can, we can play the shield game, I don't care. You can't kill me, not while I have my shield up. All right, okay, good, we got that Fantasia off there, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna hit down to the ground and then hold that tack and do some crazy damage there. And then looks like, uh, oh, is he starting to do his flying? I think he might be starting to do his flying. Oh, no, he's not flying yet, okay. Oh, yep, he's flying. So if he's flying, I'm flying. Because his fly actually really does serious, crazy amounts of damage if you get hit with it. And I am trying to not get hit with it. I think he's done flying. Okay, so let's throw the dish or skill out there for Ling Han. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit my alternate reality because I don't wanna get killed. I'm just gonna sit here and do this. Okay, Ling Han discharge right there. Okay, I didn't have a chance to kill his other shadow clone. That's cool though. Okay, whoa, whoa, okay, Tiger's out. Okay, we got the Fantasia going. Okay, uh, Fantasia, so we'll do the Yulon skill straight into the Coco Ritter discharge. And we have another discharge right behind it. He's down to his last two bars. Let's do the dodge skill, Yulon discharge, let's go. And then, oh, uh, we got Ling Han discharge ready to go as well. Oh, no, you won't be able to hit me like that. Ling Han's skill is ready, too. Let's hit that Ling Han's skill. Oh, that's crazy damage. Okay, we're going to fly now. Okay, I don't know what's going on with him, so let's go ahead and down an attack. Oh, wait, that didn't hit. Dang it. He got away. Okay, we got the discharge ready because of that Fantasia. Really good Fantasia. We'll hit the skill for uh, discharge for Coco Ritter, actually, and get some heals. And then we hit the discharge with Yulan. Bam! And then you saw uh, Ling Han discharge. I'm sorry. It's so hard saying all these Chinese names. Please forgive me. It looks like this might be a Rapski form. I'm not sure. He's so close to death. I swear to God, the game hosed me right now and doesn't give me this kill. Oh, wait. He's doing this thing again. Oh, sh this might kill me. This might kill me. Hit my shield so I don't die. We got uh, discharge that did not go off for whatever reason. I've got alternate reality ready in a couple seconds. Okay, hit alternate reality, and then we'll do the whole attack with Ling Han and try to get some heals. Oh, yeah, he's dead. GG's. That was easy like Sunday morning. Oh, my God. A3 Yulon is just different.